Hello everyone, and welcome to Train Talk, the railroad between Los Angeles and San Diego, California, known as the Surfline or the La Sand Corridor, is the second busiest passenger rail line in the United States. Coaster, Metrolink, and Amtrak Pacific Surfliner passenger trains, as well as Union Pacific and BNSF freight trains, travel on portions or all of the line. At various times of the year, this already very crowded rail line sees even more traffic than usual. One such time is the third week in July when the annual Del Mar horse races typically begin. In more recent years, San Diego's Comic-Con event has also been held on this same opening weekend of the races, drawing even more people traveling on the train from Los Angeles and Orange County to San Diego. To accommodate the extra riders, Amtrak lengthens some of its train sets and adds some additional trips to the schedule. We are in Del Mar, California on top of a coastal bluff that overlooks the tracks. This location is about three miles south of the Solana Beach train station, which is where racegoers typically disembark from the trains. We are here to see several of the late morning trains as they bring people into town for Comic-Con and the races. The first train we see is number 568. This is an extra train that has been added to the schedule. The train runs Wednesday through Sunday of opening week. An hour of extra time has been added to the trip due to the expected longer than normal boarding periods at each station. Train 568 is operating with a set of single level Horizon passenger cars and Amtrak's last dome car, the Ocean View. The dome car is available to passengers with business class tickets. Back before Amtrak existed, the Santa Fe Railroad would frequently run extra trains for people traveling to and from the horse races. In more recent years, Amtrak has also borrowed sets of commuter cars from Coaster and Metrolink to run as extra trains on particularly busy weekends of the horse race season. The next train we see is number 573. This train is also running with a set of single-level Horizon passenger cars. Today, 573 is running almost an hour behind schedule. Late-running trains are a typical problem on these busier-than-normal days, as longer-than-normal boarding times can lead to a chain reaction of delays throughout the system. Appearing shortly after train 573, Pacific Surfliner 768 comes around the bend. This is often the busiest train during the races, and to handle the extra people, Amtrak has added four additional coaches along with a second locomotive to the train. Two privately owned cars are also along for the ride this morning, bringing this train to an impressive 12 cars. Number 768 is running a half hour late this morning due in part to the extra cars being added in Los Angeles. Following this train's arrival into San Diego, the six extra cars and locomotive will be taken off and held in San Diego until the evening. Not too long after 768 has passed, another Amtrak train heads north. This is train number 777 heading all the way to San Luis Obispo, the farthest point north on the Surfliner route. 777 is running just 10 minutes late after being delayed by train 768. In addition to Amtrak, Coaster also ran two extra trains in each direction on opening day of the races. This is extra train number 643 running 10 minutes behind schedule. 643 is running with six cars today instead of the usual five. Just 10 minutes later, regularly scheduled Coaster train 645 makes an appearance. This train is running with six cars and two locomotives today, a very unusual occurrence on coaster trains. Recently, the coaster locomotives have been suffering from a series of breakdowns. It is likely that this extra locomotive is on the train today just in case there's a problem. In the late afternoon, we show up at the San Dieguito Lagoon to see the evening trains as they take visitors back home. On the other side of the lagoon are the Del Mar Fairgrounds and Racetrack. The first train we see is Amtrak number 591. This is the extra long Surfliner train returning to Los Angeles. So far, it's only running about 10 minutes behind schedule this evening.
A little while later, Amtrak train 784 heads south across the lagoon, also running about 10 minutes late. This train will be held at the siding here for northbound coaster train 665. The coaster set with two locomotives makes one more appearance on train 665 as it heads into the fading evening light. It is uncertain how much time these workhorses have left on the commuter railroad. Replacements are likely just a few years away. Finally, with the last light fading from the sky, northbound Amtrak Extra Train number 593 passes by. The train continues towards Solana Beach and into the twilight. From there, it will take racegoers home following another successful opening day at Del Mar. Thanks for coming along for the ride to look at these special race trains. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. Also, if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to be notified of all my video uploads. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.